Bonjour à tous, aujourd'hui on va faire un... Oh, qu'est-ce qui se passe Elle peut croire que je parle en français maintenant. Un instant. Hola, comment t'as Non, 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 quiero anglais. Hello, what's up, how are you? Okay, I think that's English. Sorry about that, I have no idea what happened there. Good thing those deep grim AI generated subtitles were down there to translate everything I was saying. Translated subtitles are a real lifesaver, especially when it comes to live audio. And if you want to use deep grim's AI to create your own live translated subtitles, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Alright, look, if you're a sci-fi lover like me, then you know all about the idea of a universal translator. It's all over Star Trek, Doctor Who, Rick and Morty, and that Rick and Morty inspired video game, and even in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, today we'll be making one with DeepGram. Note that right now our focus is on live, real-time transcription and translation, just like Star Trek. A video on transcribing pre-recorded audios will come out soon, since DeepGram currently has a built-in translation feature for pre-recorded audio in beta. But if you can't wait, check out this blog post. It takes you through the code you need to translate like pre-recorded audios using an external package. I translate. Today, however, as we mentioned, we're going to be translating live audio. Here's the goal. Somebody is going to speak into a microphone. Then the DeepGram AI is going to transcribe those words in their original language. We'll then translate the transcription and then use the text-to-speech API to read the translation aloud. However, note that there are some limitations in real life that aren't present in sci-fi. For example, latency. Today, we're going to transcribe with minimal latency, but not no latency. Latency meaning delay. In Star Trek, there is zero delay between speaking and translation. In the real world, however, this is impossible. Because it takes computers some non-zero amount of time to hear what the speaker is saying, generate a transcription, and translate it into the target language. In order for there to be zero latency, the computer would have to translate words as they're coming out of the speaker's mouth. But again, that's impossible because language is simply too complex. Take this example. If I start saying the simple English sentence, I went to the bank, a universal translator would have a hard time translating those words alone as they came out of my mouth. Because the end of the sentence could be, I went to the bank to withdraw some money, or it could be, I went to the bank to go fishing. See, in English, the word bank can mean one of two things, a financial institution or the edge of a river. But in other languages, the words for financial institution and the edge of a river aren't the same. In French, for example, those words are banque and bord de la rivière respectively. So even a perfect universal translator would have to wait until the end of a sentence before it can turn a speaker's original utterance into a translated one. Long story short, we're gonna have to deal with some amount of latency, some amount of delay. However, our goal is to make that delay as small as possible. And here's the pipeline that'll allow us to do that. First things first, we need to outline our desired input and output. Well, for a Star Trek universal translator, that's pretty simple. Our input is some audio, and our output is translated audio. However, let's start small. Before going full sci-fi, we'll see if we can generate translated subtitles, like in the beginning of this video. Now, to do that, what should go into this black box? Well, there doesn't seem to be an API that translates live streaming audio instantly into a target language. Most translation APIs are text to text as of today in 2023. So if we're generating translated subtitles or closed captions, we must first take our input audio and transcribe it in its original language. That's where DeepGram comes in. DeepGram is the only speech to text API out there that produces high quality transcriptions for live streaming audio in real time. So it's the obvious choice. And upon receiving a transcription, we can call in our translation API of choice. The output should be translated text. All right, with that pipeline fully flushed out, let's build it. Turning live stream audio into a transcript is easy. In fact, we've already made a video on it. Link in the description. But long story short, the fastest way to generate a transcript from an audio stream is to download this notebook I wrote. Now, you can totally open up your favorite IDE and use our software development kit to achieve the same thing, but I don't really feel like copy pasting any code right now. I want results. So I first run the cell that installs dependencies. Then I run the cell that takes a link to an audio live stream, in this case BBC Radio, and transcribes it using this configuration of DeepGram's AI. Note, we we're punctuating our transcript and using numerals to represent numbers. Also note that we're using DeepGram's Nova model. A video review on Nova's quality and benchmarks is in the description as well. And when we've run the code, the transcription looks like this. A very short time, and pulled me up so I didn't go very far. From that moment on, they are bound, one to the other, by what climbers call the brotherhood of the rope. It was a critical moment, remembered as such by both of their sons, a bond that continues through the generations. 
Note that Deepgram's AI actually transcribes the live streaming signal faster than the speakers can receive and play it. That's because the audio's signal to transcription latency is smaller than its signal to speakers latency. Nevertheless, the punchline remains, Deepgram's AI not only produces accurate transcriptions, but also timely ones. All right, now let's whip out the translation. I've decided to use Google Translate's API here. All I'm gonna do is weave in those Google Translate API calls into the code that's already built into the notebook. A full tutorial on how to use the Google Translate API is available in the documentation, but here are the high level steps that I did. First, we pip install the translator, then we import and initialize a translator, and here I've set the language to English since we know that our input is in English, but we can swap this out with a detect language call if needed in the Feature. And then I chose a target language. Here, I'm using French. And once all these Google Translate API calls are woven into the code, the result looks like this. The minister said there was scope for Mrs. Bristow and others to use the NHS app, which was all about enabling patients to get the right care at the right time. Alicia McCarthy there. There's been a call to impose rules on property firms carrying out repairs to dangerous cladding on high-rise buildings. The Conservative Tom Hunt was so appalled at the refurbishment of St Francis Tower in his Ipswich constituency that he's proposing a legally binding code of conduct. The remediation work, which began in the wake of the Grenfell Tower fire, has left the building wrapped in plastic. And voila, we have our real-time translated subtitles. That's the useful utilitarian part of this application. Up next is the fun sci-fi part. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be a simple text-to-speech streaming service. That is, a service that allows a computer to read a stream of text and output a stream of audio. However, here's what we were able to find. Narrakeet is an incredible resource that allows you to take a stream of text and turn them into audio files. Meanwhile, popular text-to-speech voices, like this one from Google, all seem to require batches of pre-written text as their input rather than a text stream. So with those limitations in mind, here's what we came up with. First, enjoy this generic voice reading a translation of BBC Radio in French. Alicia McCarthy there. There's been a call to impose... Pour imposer des règles aux entreprises immobilières effectuant des réparations à un revêtement dangereux sur les bâtiments de grande hauteur. The conservative Tom Hunt was so appalled at the... And now, enjoy this clone voice of Morgan Freeman translating French radio. And then the actress, Adel Hannah. Enel acte avec fracas son arrêt du cinéma. In a letter published by the... Publié dans, les, dans le magazine Télérama. And that's how you use AI to translate any live stream audio that you want in real time. Link to all of the code is located in the description below. If you'd like to translate pre-recorded audio, don't worry. You can simply refer to the blog that I talked about in the beginning of this video. But that being said, remember that Deepgram does have a translation feature currently in its beta. So translating batches of pre-recorded audio is soon going to be a feature in Deepgram just like diarization diarization, summarization. No need for iTranslate or Google Translate to interfere. Content on that feature and many more will come out as soon as they're released. But until then, Gracias. Merci. Spasiba. Salamat. Arigato. Grazie. Shia shia. Thank you. And don't forget, follow Deepgram for more AI content.